poll the people on my Twitter account. We have 35,000 votes in. Who's the goatiest goat of all time and why, I asked. Tom Brady, Adam Vinatieri, Michael Jordan, or Tiger Woods? I tried to get a hockey player. You weren't having it. Just well, that's, wanted to be known. Well, everybody said that Wayne Gretzky needs to go in there. I'm a Lemieux guy. Yeah, of course. So I'm just going to leave them both off the list. So I mean, take a hike. <laughs> I think the one athlete that all I right. did miss on here is Serena Williams. Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Fair. I think Serena Williams is is the one that I missed here, honestly. Yeah. A lot of people say Gretzky, blah, 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 Gretzky, Gretzky, Gretzky. Yeah, I think you could argue Serena slash Federer. Serena, Federer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people said Peyton Manning should be on there, but I think even football players would agree that Tom Brady's the greatest of all time strictly because he's won six Super Bowls. I mean, you've mm-hmm. you got to show the respect to that, uh, even though Peyton Manning, incredible football player. In the poll of 35,000 people, in the lead, Michael Jordan with 34% of the vote. The goatiest goat of all the goats. Deserved. Then you have Tom Brady with 26%, Adam Vinatieri with 20%, and Tiger Woods with 21%, which is intriguing to me that 35,000 people had Tiger Woods in third there when Tiger Woods did it all by himself. Tiger Woods completely saved a game, some would say. Tiger Woods had to go out there all by himself. Now, granted, off the off the course, he was not all by himself. <laughs> no, a lot of help it. off the field. A lot of help off the course. Rest in peace to his dad. Incredibly magical moments between he and his father throughout the years of golf. Uh, rest in peace to his previous bachelor career that he had while married. <laughs> but <laughs> what he did for golf is insane. And people say that that other guy who has more championships than him. Jack. Oh, Jack, yeah. Jack is the goat of golf. Cool. You're just an old white person. That's who you are if you're saying that. Uh, everybody knows that Tiger Woods, if he and Jack were to play at their peaks, Tiger Woods probably would have won by 15 to 20 strokes yeah. over him. And that's just why I feel the way I do. Uh, and you can take that how you want. I don't care. I was a big-time Tiger Woods guy. I loved everything about him. And then I heard what he was doing. I'm feeling like, ah, not a great guy. Oh, let's just go ahead and keep that away. Let's just focus strictly on how he golfs and he attacks the game. He changed golf completely. He was the first person with a true athlete athlete mentality in the game of golf a lot of golfers whenever they lose they shake hands oh my god i just wasn't in the cards today tiger woods would get upset like tiger woods is the first competitive human i think that got onto a course that wanted to annihilate every other golfer that was on the course and for me that's the type of stuff i love like i i enjoy people that just want to go in there and step on throats like, mm-hmm. i i enjoy that in the competitive not in real life but whenever it comes to competition and the globe and sphere of sports, I enjoy the people that are competitive that want to go out there and get a win in the right fashion, not cheating, utilizing the game, and just wanting to win. I like that. I thought Tiger Woods did that for golf when nobody else would. Phil Mickelson, one of the greatest number twos of all time. I think the only better number two is probably Adidas. Mm, yeah, they're up yeah. there. That's good. Adidas powered Phil Mickelson. <laughs> yeah. Strong. Very true. Those are strong twos. The three number two is probably across the whole thing. Um, now, granted, Adidas has made a big play, but they'll never catch Phil Knight. Nope. Never, ever catch nope. Phil Knight. I, I, I think Adidas – I wear Adidas shoes every once in a while. I wear Nike much more often. But Adidas has been a consummate number two. Powerade has forever been the number two. And Phil Mickelson, any other time period of golf, would be arguing if he's the best of golf. But he just had to run into a red polo wearing, trail blazing – Golf ball hitting, (laughs) Denny's waitress splitting, (laughs) golf cart driving, golf cart driving, (laughs) big ball thriving, Cadillac crashing, (laughs) all these things. Tiger Woods. So I'm I'm surprised that Tiger Woods was not near the top there. Michael Jordan being number one, very interesting to me because a lot of people argue that LeBron James. Oh come on. Zito is strictly saying that because he's from Chicago and he feels think, obligated to say that. And I think people are voting for Michael because they hate LeBron James. I think it's out of spite of LeBron. Well, oh. and also, I would argue that LeBron potentially showed up to a game drunk last year <laughs> and took a year off uh, in L.A. because he knew the team was crumbling around him. Rude and he had been to the playoffs for like 45 straight years. And he finally had a season where it was like a vacation year. Right, I'm in L.A. I'm going to launch 45 shows. I'm just going to hang out this year until they decide to put a good team around me. Now they have seem to have a good team, so he's going to yeah. be back. But LeBron James, when it's all said and done, it's going to be hard not to say, like, hey, this guy, really good at basketball. Mm-hmm. And then people say, well... Michael Jordan played in a time where it wasn't easy to play basketball. It's like, oh, let's assume that the guy that's six foot eight, two hundred and seventy-five pounds, is faster than everybody, can jump higher than everybody, would have also done well back in the day. 
But let's not rule out the fact that Michael Jordan would have done well today as well. So that is a tough conversation. I like the trend towards the modern person being better than the older person because of science and techniques and practices and all that stuff. But you can't argue Michael Jordan isn't the guy. I mean, I'm wearing his shoes literally right now. So, I mean, it's a tough that's a tough thing to talk about. Also, to Foxy's point, let's not discredit votes that are made out of spite. A lot of great things happen because of spite. Go on. I mean, just look at anything that's ever been accomplished in America. Sprite. All out of spite. <laughs> For the England, the Queen, yeah. not Sprite, Zito. Though a great soft drink, was definitely <laughs> not accomplished out of Refreshing. spite. <laughs> Sprite. Steve Jobs, the iPhone, <laughs> hated Bill Gates, hated Windows, they stole his idea. All out of spite. Some would argue that it wasn't Steve Jobs' idea. He just kind of said, eh, I'd make it better. I, I, I would argue that. <laughs> but for the purpose of this, you get it. I think I should have put Steve Jobs on that. Oh, yeah. I think I, put a, I should have put Steve Jobs in that go to, just to see the room. That poll was strictly to pander. That, that right. poll was oh, strictly sure. to pander right there. That was strictly to get people to be like, I can't believe you didn't put Gretzky on here. I can't believe you didn't put Peyton Manning on Tom Brady, <laughs> Belichick, maybe. Hey, guess what? It worked. There's about 500 responses. So <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, every once in a while, some things are just for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait until I put up the Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, Eminem debate. Oh, I'm going to do that tomorrow, oh, probably. Oh These were the greatest. It just never stopped.